Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be telling you guys about 20 massive changes that Rockstar have made to the Los Santos Tuners DLC update here in Grand Theft Auto Online. So we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into it. These are in no particular order. The first is if you plan on visiting the Los Santos car meet during the evening and you've got yourself a friend, let's just call her a lady of the night. Well, you're out of luck. You're not going to be able to visit the LS car meet with anyone like that. You can certainly have friends with you when you go inside, but you can't have that kind of friend with you when you end up going inside. So sorry to burst anyone's bubble here, but you just simply cannot do that. That is against the Los Santos car meet rules. Let's talk about where those music sticks are. A lot of people have been wondering where you find them. These are the media player collectibles. The first one can actually be found in your arcade. This is one we actually covered the other day. The second one can be found on this tool shed or like little power box thing uh, inside the Los Santos car meet. You just have to find it. The third one can be found on your nightclub desk up in the office. And the fourth one can be found on the outside patio roof of the Diamond Casino and Resort. Now, there's also a fifth and hidden music stick that can actually be found in the trunk of Moody Man's car in the Los Santos car meet. You just have to see if his car is there, open the trunk, and you'll be able to find it. So those are the music stick collectibles right there. A couple of people have been asking about where to actually find those. So the next thing we need to talk about is Johnny on the spot, our lost long mechanic that we used to have in the game. Like the mechanic literally used to deliver us cars. You guys might not have been playing back then, but his name was Johnny on the spot. He actually makes a appearance at the Los Santos car meet. Pretty clever Easter egg right there by Rockstar to ultimately include him. One big change that Rockstar has made is how they have handled players going AFK. So previously, if you were watching television or spectating a security camera, you would not be kicked from the game. Well, now you can actually be kicked for going AFK like that, which means it would be hard to abuse getting reputation in the Los Santos car meet. But just in general, now players are going to have to find another way to go AFK without sitting at a TV or monitoring security cameras, stuff like that. Uh, so that is one change you guys are going to have to find. There's also a pretty cool option at the auto shop and with snacks in general. So not only are there free snacks at the auto shop, but Rockstar have also added a take all snack option as well. So now you don't have to like spam 30 times for the meteorite bars that you want or P's and Q's or any of the sodas. You just hit take all and you're able to grab them and you can get them for free at the auto shop, which is quite nice. You guys might not have known about this either, but there's also a rooftop that you can go on at the LS car meet. And I wish, honestly, Rockstar utilized this more. I kind of understand maybe why they didn't, because it is exposed to the elements and other players. And they couldn't give you that safe zone that you currently have underground right now. But there are NPCs up there that act like they are a part of the car meet. And there's like 14 different access points to get back into the car meet as well. So I do find that to be kind of interesting. You might not have known about it, but there's also really nothing all that special up there either. There's also going to be a new arcade game added. It's actually a reference to another Rockstar title, Manhunt. It's going to be called Cam Heads. And imagine this probably will be released around Halloween. And you can also earn a trophy for it that will be placed in your arcade if you're able to complete the challenge that goes along with it. So that's going to be something fun to look forward to in the drip feed that will likely be released towards Halloween, but certainly over the next couple of days and weeks. There's also going to be a new adversary mode that is very similar to Mario Kart. This is coming from Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2 and Wildbrick 142 where they said Crash Cart Full Auto is an adversary mode that is a part of the drip feed. Cart machine guns, LTS, etc. So expect that to arrive. I don't know. That could be in a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months. But we know that go-kart races with 
machine guns, LTS, that stuff is going to be added sometime in the future. So that is very exciting. Another cool feature about the Los Santos car meet is you can actually call your mechanic from the LS car meet. Usually when you're inside, you don't have access to your mechanic, but at the LS car meet, you do. You can have your vehicle removed. You can also request a new one and it will for the most part, be instantly delivered. I, I found that to be a really cool feature because what if you wanted to instantly swap rides to show off? Well, now you can do so. Another interesting change that Rockstar made is you can now actually call your Kosatka submarine without having to first return it to storage. So meaning like if you wanted to basically get it from one spot to another, you wouldn't have to put it back in storage. You could just request it again. There was actually a lot of Cayo Perico heist update changes in this DLC. Not surprising since it's the first one after. We might do uh, another video just on those alone, but that's a nice little feature revolving around the Kosatka. There's also a handful of Easter eggs in this update, and I'm sure I have not covered all of them. But the first one we'll be covering today is the name of one of the auto shop styles. It's called Race and Chase. That was actually supposed to be the original name for Grand Theft Auto. And after Rockstar realized that having the police in the game was more fun, they changed it to Grand Theft Auto. But Race and Chase was the original Grand Theft Auto. That's the name of it. And in that Race and Chase style, you can see there are a ton of references to GTA cities and just people in general. You can see little tarps or little banners that say Los Santos, Vice City, San Fierro. You can see that the artwork there is definitely in GTA style. You can see Bigfoot, who is one of the biggest Easter eggs in GTA lore. He's hanging out in this race and chase. You can see aliens. You can see the Statue of Happiness from GTA 4's Liberty City. So just a really cool style right there that you might not have known has a ton of Easter eggs. And speaking of Easter eggs on one of the style, there's another one called Nostalgia Trip, which is actually really cool. And in the garage area, you're going to see this uh, advertisement or poster for Debonair cigarettes. That lady right there looks awfully familiar to Sadie Adler from Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, I am convinced that this is done on purpose here. And that this is supposed to be Sadie Adler because there's literally an outfit in game where she looks identical to that. The lady on there looks identical to this wouldn't be the first time Rockstar has done a Red Dead Redemption 2 crossover like this of sorts. So I do believe that is Sadie Adler. And inside of the Los Santos car meet, you will see a ton of Fast and Furious Easter eggs. You can see random vehicles that are just parked there that are basically Fast and Furious replicas. And these are not cars that people have brought into the LS car meet. These are cars that Rockstar have had randomly generated in there. And you guys can see that those are almost identical to the same cars that can be seen in the Fast and Furious films. So very cool stuff right there. Uh, I'm sure you guys might have picked up on a few of those. And those are certainly not the only Fast and Furious references in this update. A lot of it is based off of Fast and Furious, but I thought that was pretty cool right there that you could notice something like that in the LS car meet. Another thing you can do in the LS car meet that's pretty cool is you can actually revert bulletproof tires. So before, if you applied bulletproof tires, you were stuck with them. There was no way to get rid of them. Now you can get rid of them, which is kind of cool because sometimes you just might not want your car tires to be bulletproof, or sometimes you do and you want to go back and forth. It doesn't really matter to me. Moving on to some random ones that I think are kind of fun and interesting. In the IAA contract job, one of Avon's juggernauts can be seen in the IAA building. I thought that was an interesting Easter egg, and I'm, it kind of fuels the conspiracy that Avon Hertz is working with the IAA. Again, I'm sure there's so many more Easter eggs, but I found that one to be interesting. Also, if you guys are wondering what your auto shop's fee was for your daily set of fees, it's $250. Uh, doesn't matter how many staff or how few staff or upgrades you have, it's $250 per day. And as far as the final missions go on the contract jobs, you can only use the new cars. So this, I guess, is Rockstar's way of like kind of forcing you to buy the new cars if you want to do the contract missions. You can't use like a Karuma or an Insurgent or anything like that. You have to use the brand new cars. A lot of people are now also reaching reputation rank 20, which means they can do a private takeover in the Los Santos car meet. 
And in case you guys are wondering all that gets you, it gets you 76 spots, 76 car meet spots that you can technically put them in. So that is way more than anyone could possibly use. And you can also change the banners and the lighting in there. It also removes all the NPCs and also removes your ability to access any of the shops, like the tattoo shop, the merch shop. This video is coming from GTA GFX on Twitter who hosted his own private takeover, and that is what happens when you do a private takeover. And last but not least today, I think this is an unintentional glitch, so take advantage of it while you can, but now aircrafts that you can spawn directly from your hangar will spawn right in front of you, instead of spawning on the closest airstrip or a place that a normal plane, jet, or aircraft would take off from. I don't think Rockstar intended this to be the case, but it's actually quite convenient. So until they patch this, I would definitely recommend taking advantage of it for as long as possible. But anyways, that right there is 20 massive changes that Rockstar have made to the Los Santos Tuners DLC update here in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Do you know of any other changes that Rockstar have made? If so, be sure to let us know in the comments. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Los Santos Tuner DLC videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.